I think education will continue to evolve. And I think it's, it's down to us to evolve with it. In the last 20 years, you know, lessons are far more designed around an individual. The focus is on personalizing the learning experience and the holistic development of the child. We're not only instilling knowledge, we're shaping mindsets, nurturing future leaders, and inspiring young minds to tackle big issues like climate change, and sustainable living. We're able to create a facility which enables our teachers to deliver fantastic, you know, for me, outstanding education and personalized education to students. I think the way that we look at our buildings no longer are just classrooms with, you know, 30 students facing forward. We've looked at different size rooms. We've looked at different types of rooms. We've looked at open and blended learning spaces, which allows students to work in a very different way. We're building modern, sustainable environments that foster a sense of community. We're bringing together parents, students, teachers, and the broader community. Whether it's through online learning platforms or virtual classrooms, students can seamlessly engage with peers, educators, and experts from around the world. Being part of a growing network of 31 schools also means greater connectivity, especially as we expand into different regions. Each of our schools have unique models. We do have a school which has a sports specialism or a school that has technology specialism or a school that has a business and strategic partnerships and able to adapt that to you know, the Eldar school model, the Eldar academy model, the Cranley model. Students now demand sustainability practices and the way that I think they look at the world is very different to how we looked at the world growing up. And I think you know, we, we have to harness that, we have to enable that. And we have to make sure that across all of our curriculums, that sustainability is embedded. It's at the heart of what we do. It's not just um, a subject that we offer. With the connectivity that they have, they're able to learn at a faster rate than, than, than we've ever been able to. I'm looking forward to seeing more um, around schools, not just being schools. I think schools should fundamentally offer those educational or enrichment experiences to, to wider communities, not just the students we have enrolled at them, but the wider community. We can offer free education to older generations. So they're able to pick up some of those things maybe that they didn't pick up as students. They're able to now pick up as adults. We have the ability to do that. We have the expertise, we have the facilities, we have the environment. That's something that we can do and we can enable.